Welcome to Hopeful Brewing. We haven't met before. My name is Victor, and you probably don't know that Saison is my favorite style of beer. If I could only drink one type of beer for the rest of my life, it'd probably have to be Saison. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why Saison is my favorite style of beer, and also why Saison is the best style of beer for home brewing. If you like what I did with this, um, let me know in the comments below. If you find value in this content, please like and subscribe. Check out Hopeful Brewing on Instagram and Twitter. Let's roll the intro and get started. The origin of Saison traces back to 18th century Belgium and the French-speaking region of Wallonia. The word Saison directly translates to season in French. Saisons are frequently called farmhouse ales in the U.S., however, this term is not widely used in Europe. Saisons were brewed by farmers in the autumn and winter months to serve to seasonal farm workers during the summer and the harvest. This required Saisons to be thirst quenching, yet strong enough to store for many months. These beers provided what farm workers craved, liquids and calories. Today's Saisons are divided into three strengths, table, standard, and super strength. Saisons are usually quite aromatic with notes of fruit, spice, and hops. Lemon and oranges are most common. Typically, there's a hint of soil and pepper spice from the yeast and the hops. Saisons are usually pale orange or straw-like in color. Although less common, dark versions exist and are referenced in the style guidelines. Clarity is not expected, and it is commonly unfiltered and hazy. The carbonation should be high, and there should be a lot of white head. The aromatics carry through to the flavor with medium low to medium high fruity and spicy flavors. The malt flavor should be soft and grainy. The bitterness should be moderate to high. The fruity character is frequently orange and lemon citrus. The spices are typically peppery. Saisons are usually dry to very dry and sweetness is not suitable for the style. The mouthfeel should be light to medium body with very high carbonation. It should be effervescent with a very dry finish. A low to moderate tart character can also be refreshing. The sourness should not be puckering. Okay, let's get into some of the standard ingredients. Because these beers were brewed by farmers, they often used grains that were locally available to them. This caused saisons to widely vary from farm to farm and from region to region. Continental base malts are most common, but are frequently complemented by wheat, oats, rye, or spelt. Wheat may make up 30% of the grain bill, while spelt, oats, or rye up to 10%, light Munich or Vienna might make up to 20% of the grain bill. Saisons are typically more hoppy than most other Belgian styles. The spicy hop character should be present but not overwhelm the yeast character in traditional saisons. The hops that are used traditionally are citrus, spicy, floral, woody, or even herbal. Good examples of these are Saws, Tettinger, Styrian Goldings, or East Kent Goldings. New Age American Saisons may be hoppier and use hops that have berry or sweet fruit characteristics as well. Almost anything can work. Some of the hops that are being used in American Saisons are Citra, Opal, Amarillo, and Galaxy. Adjuncts are common in Saisons. Adding adjuncts such as Belgian candy sugar, honey, or even syrup can add interesting flavors and add more alcohol without increasing the body. These should be added in the same 5 to 15% of any additional grains, and spices such as coriander, bitter orange peel, and grains of paradise are also common. This brings me to really what makes a saison a saison, yeast. I recently read an article where brewers were asked what makes a saison a saison, and a few of them expressed that the yeast is what defines a saison. I must agree. Saison yeast expresses fruity, spicy, tart, and even at times funky characteristics. Bubble gum is another descriptor that people use for some Saison yeast strains. Saison were also commonly fermented with wild yeast strains, and you'll often find barrel aged Saisons with Brett, but the BJCP says that these belong under the American wild ale category. Now that you have the basics of what a Saison is, I'm going to give you five reasons why it's the best style for home brewing. Reason number five. It pairs well with food. It works with fatty foods, such as barbecue. It works with greens, such as salads. It works great with cheeses. Colby, Gorgonzola, Asiago, Parmesan, Gouda, Burrata. It's also good with almost anything lemon. I want to read a quote from Garrett Oliver of Brooklyn Brewery. 
Cezanne is not just versatile, it's downright promiscuous. It seems to go with almost everything. The combination of dynamic bitterness, scouring carbonation, bright aromatics, spicy flavors, pepper notes, dark earthy underpinnings, and racy acidity gives these beers a hook to hang their hat on for a wide range of dishes. Reason number four, availability and price. So if you like Saisons, like I do, you probably know that it can be hard to find reasonably priced Saisons. Usually when you find them on the shelves, they're eight, nine dollars a bottle, they're barrel aged. If you just want a very basic Saison for a reasonable price, it's kind of hard to find. Luckily, there's a local brewery to me, uh, Gun Whale. They usually have a fair amount of farmhouse ales or Saisons on tap. So Hayshaker is a go-to for me. It's a really good beer. If you're in Costa Mesa, I highly suggest checking out Gun Whale. If you're a home brewer, you can make a five, 10 gallon batch for way cheaper than you can buy even at your local craft brewery, if you can find it. So this is another reason why I think this is a great beer to homebrew. You can get your hands on hundreds of different types of IPAs, getting your hands on different types of Saison's, a little bit more difficult. Number three reason why Saison is the best style for homebrewing is temperature control. To be specific, it's lack of temperature control. You really don't need temperature control if you use the French Saison yeast strain, because this, can work from anywhere from about 60 degrees to about 85 degrees. So very, very versatile yeast. In Y yeast, that's 3711. In White Labs, that's WLP 590. If you're doing Imperial yeast, that's B64 Napoleon. And if you're doing Omega yeast, that's OYL 026. So pick up that strain. You probably don't need temperature control unless you're brewing somewhere extremely hot or extremely cold, and even if you're on the hotter end, it'll probably still work. You'll get more citrus and pear notes and peppery flavors the warmer you go, um, but you don't absolutely need to get all the way up to 85. I've fermented French Saison in the 70s, uh, even the high 60s, and it still turns out great. So this is a really good reason um, to homebrew this for all those people who don't have temperature control and you worry about all those temperature fluctuations causing all flavors in your beer, you probably don't have to worry about it too much using the French Saison strain. Reason number two, Saison is a great style for home brewing, is ease. And this kind of goes along with our previous point, is that this is a very easy style to make in general, at least in my opinion. The grain bill is usually relatively uncomplicated. You can even go 100% Pilsner malt and get away with it. Uh, it's very common to add a little bit of wheat, maybe up to 30% very uncomplicated grain bill um, and most of the time you're not even adding up to 30 percent wheat malt so you don't really have to worry about stuck mashes too much i've read some other articles about um, the easiest styles to homebrew and frequently mentioned is american wheat or even german hef which those contain very very high amounts of wheat and we all know what that means that means possibility of stuck mashes and yes, there's some solutions to that. Obviously, rice holes is a really good uh, solution for that. If you're a new home brewer, you might not be aware of that. And a stuck mash is a really good way to ruin your brew day. So in my opinion, Saison, easier to make than some of the other styles that are listed um, as easy home brewing styles. Along those lines also is, in terms of ease, we already talked about temperature control, but hopping. Um, usually, you know, there's a fair amount of hoppiness in this beer, but it doesn't require a ton of hops in order to get really good hoppiness because Saison's finish very dry. So you don't typically need to add the same amount of hops because there's not so much malts or sweetness in the beer fighting with the hops. So you can get away with a little bit of hops early in the boil. And if you want more hop flavor, you can do um, some late in the boil. And if you want to, you can dry hop, but it's totally unnecessary at the style. You don't have to mess around with dry hopping. So you can do all the hops in the boil and not have to worry about it. So again, makes it very easy. Something else that makes this easy is if you use the French Saison strain, once again, for fermenting, the French Saison yeast strain absolutely dominates. It is one of the best attenuating yeast strains that you can find out there. It doesn't get stuck. It doesn't get stalled out. So if you're a new home brewer, this is a great style to start off and brew. You could throw a shoe in there and French Saison will probably ferment it. So French Saison, really good use. On the flip side, if you use the DuPont strain, WLP 565, 
you might get a lot of stuck fermentations. This yeast strain is notorious for stalling out in the middle of fermentation, somewhere around 1030 gravity. You have to heat it way up in order to get it to complete fermenting. Apartment Brewer did a video a while ago about this, and he had a whole bunch of problems. And it, it took about four plus weeks for his beer to ferment out when he used the DuPont strain. So I highly suggest using the French Saison strain. French Saison strain also creates an interesting um, creamy-like mouthfeel, even though the final gravity of the beer is very, very low. So French Saison strain, way to go for the most part. And the number one reason why Saison is the best style to homebrew is versatility. Saisons seem to have a lot of latitude in the style guidelines. And outside of the style guidelines, it's very versatile in terms of flavors. The flavors with the Saison yeast and the malt bills that are common work with a lot of different things. So you got your traditional Saisons, you got dark Saisons, you got sour tart Saisons, you got funky Saisons, you got American dry hop Saisons, you got Saisons with fruits and spices, you got all sorts of different Saisons, you name it, you can Saison it. Now, while it's true that you can do all these different types of things to almost any beer style, it really, really works well in Saisons. And a great inspiration for me, and I think you'll probably find a good inspiration with this as well, is Michael Tonsmere's blog, The Mad Fermentationist. His blog has a bunch of great different recipes on there for both light and dark Saisons, fruity Saisons, as well as a number of other beer styles. And when I first started home brewing, I went to this blog all the time and I used it as a guideline for recipe development. And I also just directly brewed or copied off of his recipes. And a lot of those beers turned out really well. He has some good modern times clones on there. And his French hoppy Saison recipe is really, really good and spot on. So I highly suggest uh, trying that out if you're looking for a recipe. Stay tuned. I'll give you a recipe for uh, a little bit different of a Saison as well. And there you have it. Five reasons why Saison is the best beer style for home brewing. This might not be a popular opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments down below. Let's start a conversation. As promised, here is a Saison recipe. This is for a lemon floral Saison. And the fermentables for this is going to be 6.5 pounds of Belgian Pilsner, 2.25 pounds of wheat malt, and a quarter pound of aromatic malt. I use the DuPont water profile for this, which is 100 calcium, 20 magnesium, 10 sodium, 30 chloride, and 90 sulfate. For the mash, we use 3.25 gallons at 152 degrees and 60 minute mash. And then we sparged out 5.5 gallons at 168 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. We went with a 75 minute boil with our first hop additions at 30 minutes, seven grams of Sriracha Ace and seven grams of Laurel. We also added seven grams of Sriracha Ace and Laurel at 10 minutes in the boil as well. We also added Whirlpool hops at 170 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, one ounce of each Sriracha Ace and Laurel. After fermentation is over, add another ounce each of Laurel and Sriracha Ace. For yeast, I went with Omega Yeast Saison Science Monster, which is a hybrid of the Belgian strain as well as the French Saison strain. You could easily just use the French Saison strain as well. Here are the other ingredients that get added to the boil at 10 minutes. One whirl flock tablet, three grams of yeast nutrients. Here are the other mash water ingredients, 2.5 grams calcium chloride, two grams Epsom salt, five grams gypsum, and 1.75 milliliters of lactic acid. Okay, so that's the recipe. We're gonna wrap up this video here. There's gonna be a part two of this video and that will have the brewing footage from this video as well as the taste test. In the meantime, check out some of the short beer review videos that I've released. Let me know your thoughts on those and if you like that content. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content just like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.